M0FXB, welcome to my channel and we're looking at the Nano VNA antenna analyzer. This is a budget one for about £40. So we'll start off by setting the, the parameter that it looks at. Now we've already put it on to 7 megahertz here, 7 to 7.3 and I'll just show you how I've done that. We just tap the screen, uh, go back if you need to and go to, let's go to stimulus, start, we go 7.0 megahertz. Um, and then we'll just go tap it again, stop, and we'll go 7.3 megahertz like the USA. Okay, so we set it 7 to 7.3, that's 40 meter band HF. Um, okay, so now we're going to calibrate. Now I'm going to screw on the what's called the open connector. So that's almost got like a hole in it, so there's no pointy bit in the middle. Um, we're just going to screw it on here first. You could do it without it, some people do, because um, it's showing that it's open, but we're going to put it on, as you should, and we're going to tap the screen, we're going to go to look for calibrate, if it's not there, go back, we'll go to calibrate, uh, and then we'll reset it, because we're starting again, and then we'll go calibrate, and it asks for the open, we've screwed that on already, because we're so efficient, and then we're going to hit open. It will do the test and it will go to the next one. Now the short one is the same kind of connector, but the inside has got like a little pointy spike. So there you are. It's a bit dark, but it's a pointy spike. So screw it on there like so. And don't be worried about these. They are very straightforward to use if you're just trying to do SWR. So we're going to hit short. It's moved on to the next one. So now the load one is has insulation in it it's measuring the load it's got like a white insulator in it so and it's a bit bigger and a different color we'll screw that on there as well like i said these are about 40 pound these ones 2.8 inch um it has all the latest software so we're going to hit load like so and it moves on to iso ln I know I should know what that means, but that's what it says. Now I've watched it before and I know that that means you just take them off. Okay, so go like so and we'll hit that. And now it's through. So for through, we're going to connect this cable where we connect them together. So screw one on there. Not too tight on these, just finger tight. And then screw it to the other one, like so. Okay, so we're gonna hit through. It's gone, and then we can go to done. And the good thing is that it does ask us to save that, so we don't have to calibrate it every time. So 40 meters, we're going to save it onto save zero. Okay, so let's just take off what's here, like so. I think we'll turn it off and on to reset it. So we'll go off and turn it back on. Now we've got this pointer here which is where it should be, where we would see the circle, we would expect it to be here. So we'll get the load and we'll just screw it on like so. And it should go really to the center. If it's in the center, then you've calibrated it correctly. And seven to um, 7.3. So let's, let's put on my G5RV and just see what it does. Before we do that though, we'll, we'll put the short on there because that should bring, the short is the one with the little point. Screw the short on here, and that should bring it straight across to the other side. So that's quite a good way of checking it. Now we're going to just, I've never used one of these, so I don't actually know what I'm looking at. Um, we need, I need to learn what the purple line is reading, you know, loading and, you know, and I'm going to learn that next, but this was just about calibrating it. I'm like a new owner that's calibrating it for the first time and just uh, learning this device. So let's connect our G5RB just to see what it does. So I've got an adapter here, this one here, PL259, and then I've screwed on one of the included connectors here. Let's get it connected on. 
like so. Right, so that's the G5RV connected. So we now need to learn what we're seeing. So thanks for watching. I think it's going to be a fun device to play with. Uh, I'm going to watch a few more videos and learn what we're looking at, what we can select. I know that the, you know, the, see the white lines going all the way, the grid basically, we can actually choose how that is numbered because at the moment we're seeing a number one here um, and a number one here. I don't know what that means. Uh, we've got the Smith, I've heard of the Smith chart. Pause, load, and load. So we need to learn what all this is doing. So thanks very much for watching. 7-3, catch you later. All the best.